Hi everyone, thank you for joining us. I have my very special helper today. Say hi. hi. And what's your name? Dexter. And are you my son? Yes. How old are you? Seven. Okay, so he's my very special helper today. I always love it when you get to join me on my episodes. Mm -hmm. It's so much fun, fun thing to do together. And do you want to tell the people what we're going to be talking about today? What's the main thing we're going to be talking about? The main thing we're going to be talking about today is meteorites. All right. That's cool. Meteorites are some of the coolest things that we have in the store, right? You've been very interested in outer space recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like planets mm -hmm. and black holes and solar systems and stuff. Uh -huh. You've been talking about that a lot. Mm -hmm. So I thought maybe meteorites would be a fun thing for us to talk about together because you're super into it. Right? And, and maybe we'll have a little bonus time about me talking about a little bit of black holes for like sure for like two or three minutes. Sure, if you want to throw in some black hole facts, I'm sure people would be very interested. Well, yeah, I saw uh, some people doing some thumbs ups. All right, cool. Thank you so much for the feedback. All right, so yes. first what we're going to do is I wanted to show that we've made some changes to the layout of the store. Can you show them what's been different, what we've moved around? Mm -hmm. The tables, basically. Yeah, we moved some tables around. So the seashells are now here. Instead of over but there. But they used to be over there. And we have this big gap over here. Are we going to put anything in here? Do you uh, remember? I, 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 think we, I think we should. Yeah, we're going to put some big cabinets in here. We, we have them we, coming in just a few days. Have, yeah, it's a weird empty spot right now, but it's just temporary. And I wanted to show people some of the new items we put on the sale table. So these items are all 50% off, which is great. So please consider stopping by and getting those if you want. Is that one of your favorites? This is one of my favorites because it gets goggles, safety goggles, and stuff that you can try to break open rocks. Mm -hmm. And you could... You might be able to sh so show other people, um, and um, you can show them what you discover, right? Yeah, and then they'd be like, "Wow, did you go in the mine?" And I'm like, no, <laughs> "You could just buy it from the Evolution Store <laughs> dot com." Very cool. Uh, or the Evolution Store. And we also have these um, sticker books. So lots of people like stickers, and these are particularly beautiful stickers, right? Mm-hmm. Look at these. This, these illustrations are so beautiful. And there's like little stickers you can use to decorate cards, is there, is there, stationery. Is, is there one with a penguin? I don't know if there are any penguins in here. There might be. I see a polar bear. Penguins usually are next to polar bears. Because uh, penguins are my favorite animal. They see. are, I know. There's some other birds. I use them in all my YouTube videos on my YouTube <laughs> channel. That's and right. It, and it's called uh, Penguins Fun Universe. You love penguins. Yep. All right. Well, why don't we um, show people the main items that we wanted to talk to them about today? Okay? Can you go find them? Do you remember where we put them? Look at those meteorites. Those are pretty great, huh? Can you pick that one up? Is it heavy? Sort of for me. Yeah, it's pretty heavy, right? It's pretty dense. Do you know what meteorites are made out of or what these meteorites are made out of? It looks like they're made out of copper because all the, all the stuff, like all the brown stuff. Yeah, the looks, brown it looks, stuff. It looks like either a scratched up like the brown metal or mm -hmm. copper. Yeah, you're right. It is kind of reddish orange like copper, but you know what it's actually made out of? It is made out of metal, so you are right about that. But it's actually made out of iron. And the reason you can tell that it's iron is because of these rust spots. Because oh, iron yeah, rusts, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah I, I, I was, that, that was what I was trying to say, um, the rusty iron. Yeah, so iron rusts sometimes. This is how you know this is a real meteorite. It has these really cool rusty texture. And do you know the difference between a meteoroid, a meteor, and a meteorite? I think a meteorite is a small meteorite. Mm, a small piece, yeah. Um, and I think a meteoroid is like maybe like this size or something. So kind of. So a meteoroid is what you call it when it's still in outer space. Mm -hmm. And a meteor is what you call it as it's entering the Earth's atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And then the small chunks that fall off 
when it burns up in the Earth's atmosphere are called meteorites. Which this is a meteorite. Which is, that's a big meteorite. And we also have the little meteorites too, right? The, the, don't ask, the, the, the not rust though. So those are a little bit different. They're prepared a little bit differently. So the big meteorite that you see here, another difference besides just the size is the color, obviously, right? So it's much darker than the other ones. These are kind of bright and shiny, and these this one's dark and rusty. And the reason for that is because um, this is a piece that fell through the atmosphere. Uh -huh. And as it was falling through the atmosphere, the, um, it developed what's called a fusion crust. Mm -hmm. The metal on the outside melted mm -hmm. and uh -huh. then cooled again. And that's why it has this really cool rust. dark, ru rust. rust and dark texture. And, and this one. These ones are actually from, made by, um, breaking a large meteorite into small fragments. So these are fragments of a meteorite. What they do is they take the big meteorite and then they like they heat it up and they cool it down and they heat it up and they cool it down again until it becomes all fractured and crumbly and that's how you get these cool small pieces. That are very shiny. And, and they're a little different because they're from basically they're pieces of the inside of the meteorite. Oh, you can see, look, look, it's kind of the same shine. It's yeah. Like you can't see the shadow. Yeah, exactly. Oh, there you this, go. this piece is shiny right here. That's the edge yep. of it, right? And that's almost exactly this. Yeah, and so that's what happens is they basically will take a big meteorite like this, break it into a million little pieces, and that's how you get these cool fragments. And that's why they're not as dark on the outside because they're from the inside of a larger meteorite. Meteorite. I wonder um, if you could just break a meteorite with a plain hammer. I don't think you could. I think it would probably be too strong, right? Yeah, it's a piece of iron. Yeah, you might you might need maybe like a diamond or <laughs> an iron. Like or at least like this the part where you smack it down. Mm -hmm. You probably need an iron or diamond one to break a meteorite in a few hits. Hmm. That would be a very interesting experiment to try. Because a diamond is the strongest substance in the world or material in the world that we have ever discovered. That's right. As human beings. And um, the, uh, the other thing I wanted to point out about this really large meteorite, because this one is very special. And it, one reason why it is special, obviously, is because of the size and the fact that it's a whole meteorite and not a fragment of a meteorite. And one thing that's cool is you see these little indentations, mm -hmm. Dex? These what? are what's called thumbprints because look, it's like I'm pressing my thumb into clay, mm -hmm. right? And it's leaving mm -hmm. these little indentations, these mm -hmm. marks here. Mm -hmm. And that is, the, um, that is the proof of a very high quality meteorite. When a, qual when a meteorite has lots of thumbprints in it, that's what collectors are looking for when they're looking at meteorites. They're looking for these thumbprints that's how you know it's a special meteorite. No thumbprints? Uh, not very rare. <laughs> exactly. Not as special if it doesn't have those cool thumbprints. But I anyway. Like these are very special because of like... Yeah, I like those too because, because they're, they're very shiny, shiny and um, very interesting shapes and it is still a piece of a real meteorite that came from outer space so it's kind of like holding a piece of outer space which is pretty interesting, right? All right, do you want to give us a black hole fact to close out on? Well, there's one more thing I want to show you, and then I'll do the black hole fact. Okay, what do you want to show us? This is one I really don't like. You don't like it? The brain soap. <laughs> you don't like the brain soap? That's too weird for you? It's weird like <laughs> Oh, that's funny. And then, what? Well, why yeah. do you have two heads? That's cool, man. That's their logo. I think the brain soap is pretty cool. Um, all right, how about that black hole fact? Okay. The black hole fact that I remember the most is that black holes might be strong enough to rip apart the galaxy itself. Whoa, that's pretty intense. I hope we don't find any black holes. Well, the black, black holes are very, 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 very unlikely. Yes, this is the true. The only black hole that ever, that probably ever existed mm -hmm. that I know of is the black hole that actually created our, our universe. Whoa. And if you don't know the difference between a galaxy and a universe, a galaxy is one of those like swirly things that you can like enter and then like teleports you to a universe 
which is basically our solar system in space. Okay. Well, we'll have to talk about that another time. We got a comment down here. It says, cool place for a kid. Would you agree with that? Do you think the evolution store is a cool place for a kid? Uh, Let me give you a hint. There's only one correct answer. What? Which is yes. <laughs> I don't know. Don't we want kids to come and visit us and look at all the cool stuff we have? Yes, but not yes. the brain self. The brain self is okay. very weird. Well, there are some weird things too, but anyway. <laughs> we do what well, well, we do sell hearts. We do have hearts too, yeah. And look, we have another comment from Oriana. She says, Love learning about black holes. Thanks for the cool fact, Dexter. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, well let's sign off for now. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Oh look, uh, Lala. Lala is watching too. Hi Lala. <laughs> Bye. Bye.